So guys, once again welcome back to Ahoy Navigos. We are continuing our session on wind triangle. Today we will be discussing about two types of problems in wind triangle and we will be finishing our wind triangle session. So let's proceed into the problem directly. So first question type 3 problems. We have question cos 3 to 0 speed 12 knots out in open sea. Wind force 4 that is 16 knots. Estimated by appearance of the sea surface. Smoke from the funnel was observed to be blowing to 030. Or entries to be made in the weather report regarding wind direction and speed. So what all we have? You have course of your ship and your ship speed. Also the wind force is given estimated by appearance of sea surface. That means that's your true wind. Next thing you have a smoke from funnel blowing 030. So we already discussed in last video if smoke is flowing in some direction your apparent wind will be 180 degree away or opposite to that direction. So let's proceed. Direction of smoke from funnel is 030 therefore we can say apparent wind is equal to 210 degrees. So suppose we will proceed with the diagram. This is point A. You have a 0 to 180 line. Now we have our ship speed 320 will be somewhat like this. This is 3 to 0. Now we need to transfer our 0 to 180 degrees to this point and that point is called as T and it's 12 miles as given in the question. Next thing what we have is estimated by appearance of the sea surface. We have speed of our true wind. But we don't know the direction. So we need one more direction. So we know the direction of apparent wind that is opposite to your smoke from funnel that's 210. So we can say that is like this. That's from A to O. So it is always coming from wind. So you can say this is 210. So now the only thing what we have is our true wind speed. So we can cut our true wind on this line A to O or will lie on anywhere on this line, this A to O line. So, but we don't know where it is, so we need to cut, but we know the distance of O to T, so we'll cut it like this. So, we join that line, so that is our O. So, now we resolve our AOT or OAT triangle. So, now we can write, this is the direction of true wind, that is always from O to T. So, the direction is 165 and the distance is already given in question, 16 miles. So what we are asked what is the entry to be made in weather report regarding wind direction and speed. So we already discussed except in cases of the entry to be made in logbook rest every time we will be writing in 360 degree notation and speed in knots. The entry in weather report will be 165 degrees into 60 knots directly. So guys this is how we solve these type 3 problems. So let's proceed into the next type of problem that is type 4 problem. So we have type 4 problem. Question is, we have been given ship course is equal to southwest by west and it's 40 knots. And true wind is given as 3 point abaft of beam on both sides and funnel smoke is going 3 point abaft starboard beam. What is entry to be made in logbook? In this it's little complicated. So we need to resolve and get what is the direction of true wind, apparent wind and ship course. So let's see. You can say we have total 32 points in a compass. So you look into this compass rows, you can say we have total 32 points in a compass rows. So you know from a whole circle the total angle will be 360 degrees. So if you have 32 points you can say one point will be 11.25 degrees. So ship course is given as southwest by west. So let's go into our diagram southwest by west it is coming somewhere here. So how many points we have that's north to south it will be 180 degrees plus 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 that's south west by west so it is 180 will be 16 plus 5 that's 21 day points. So we can say ship course will be south west by west will be 21 points into 11.25 degrees that is 236 decimal 25 degrees. So now we have our ship course in 360 degree notation and we have our ship speed. Next thing with respect to this we have been given true wind also funnel smoke from which we will be obtaining our apparent wind that is opposite to the funnel smoke. So let's proceed. True wind is given as 3 point 
above beam on port side and funnel smoke is given as 3 point above starboard beam. So let's draw our ship first. This is our ship and we know the direction or heading of the ship is 236 decimal 25. This is our beam line. So true wind is given with respect to this beam line that is 3 points above our port beam. So this is true wind, true wind is coming from, so it is coming from this direction. So how we find what is the direction of true wind, that's very easy. From 236 decimal 25 you can know, you need to subtract 90 degrees, you will reach on this port beam point and we need to subtract 3 points. We know one point is 11.25, so 3 points will be 90 plus 3 into 11.25, that's 1, 2, 3 decimal 7, 5. So we can get the direction of true wind as 236 decimal 25 minus 123 decimal 75 that's 112 decimal 5 degrees. Next thing what we have is funnel smoke is given as 3 point above of starboard beam. So we can say this is the direction of funnel smoke. So you know this is 90 degree from heading to starboard beam and from there starboard beam to funnel smoke that is given as 3 point above starboard beam. So that will be same as 90 plus 3 into 11 decimal 25 that's 1 2 3 decimal 7 5. So your funnel smoke direction will be 2 3 6 decimal 25 plus 1 2 3 decimal 7 5 that's 360 degrees that is 0 0 0 degrees not early. So we know if funnel smoke is coming from some direction your apparent wind will be 180 degrees away or uh, the opposite direction of your funnel smoke. So apparent wind will be opposite to funnel smoke that is 180 degrees that is opposite to 0, 0, 0 degrees. So we can say apparent wind is 180 degrees. So next thing what we have we need to resolve our triangle and need to find direction of our true wind we already have but we need to find the speed of our true wind which is need to be written in our log book. So let's proceed to our OIT triangle. This is a point A, we have our 0 to 180 line, we know our ship's course is given as 236 decimal 25, so let's plot that at first, as 236 decimal 25 into 14 knots, that's given, we transfer 180 to 0 line to T, next thing what we have is, we know apparent wind, that's 180 degrees, it's always coming from, so its direction will be this way towards A coming from 180 and next we know true wind is also given for us that's 112 decimal 5 degrees it's also coming from so wherever this true wind line and this abandoned wind line meets that's our point O and the distance or the speed of our true wind will be from O to T if you measure with the same scale as we did in A to T so the answer will be 13.2 miles. So we can write true wind as 112 decimal 5 into 13.2. But in entry in logbook, we are always we do in cardinal points and before skill. So entry in logbook will be 112 decimal 5. If you look into our cardinal points, 90 degree will be east. And we have two more points to reach 112.5. That will be east by south and east southeast. And 13.2 miles in Bayford, we know this is our Bayford scale, if you look into it, knots from 11 to 16, that is Bayford 4, that is where our 13.2 will be lying, so we can say our logbook entry will be east southeast, that's for 112 decimal 5 cardinal mark and 13.2 will be coming in Bayford 4, so this is the entry what we do in our logbook. So guys this is how we do our meteorological problems based on wind triangle. I hope you guys understood. This is our last video on wind triangle. Thank you.